How you doing guys? Most of you may know me from my career working in the adult entertainment industry. Excellent movies as Mr. Hollow Point goes to Washington and Hey, you're messing up my joke, dude. You're messing up my joke. Yeah. Okay, it's Mr. Hollow Point here. Um, I've successfully slaughtered a hog with the old 20 millimeter. And what I'm going to do now with it, and I'm hoping I can show this to you, and it comes out on. Uh, look, it's old one eye. Tittles the Wonder Cat. Uh, what I hope to show in the video is. I got a new stock. We're going to take the wood stock off the 20 millimeter here and uh, Mike Pangle has provided me with this like an AR-15 style or, or AK whatever you want to call it more of a assault weapon style stock uh, and we'll get into some more of the details on this but what's nice is he is teamed up with MLOC, if I'm saying that correctly, and any type of add-on gear that you would put on a regular, uh, you know, AK-47, AR-15, uh, that type of, uh, you know, firearm, anything that has the MLOC, this is, can go on this, on this top, bottom, or side rails. Um, we'll try to do some close-up here and show you how we do this. Don't mind, Mickey. Uh, I'm not a gunsmith, but this is something that even I can do. Um, it, it's really, really unique for the guys that don't like wood stocks and you like this more military style uh, close quarter combat, whatever you want to call it, design, this will fit any of the Extreme Big Bore air rifles, you know, from Brent over at Extreme Big Bore. Uh, it's actually designed so whether you've got a, a, you know, 308 up to a 12 gauge or you get yourself a 20 millimeter, this stock is an option that you can have put on. Uh, Brent is not carrying these himself. This is aftermarket. Uh, Mike Pangle is carrying these. I will try to have some contact information in the video. Uh, he's been working real, real hard on these uh, uh, with Dave at uh, Our Arms, and they've done a really unique job. You know, trying to bring you all the details, pieces, and parts. And batch by batch, I think these are getting better and better as they come out. Um, Usually you've just got this part of the gun stock here and then you can get your own you know butt pad, cheek piece, whatever you want. So whether you're picking up a thirty dollar you know something from cheaper than dirt or going with Magpul the top of the line, you know anything will fit on that tube. That's what it's designed for. Uh, this happens to have uh, Mike sent these to me with a Luther. I'm saying that right. Um, bear the glasses, or a Luther. You know, I think that's Luther. Anyways, we'll double check that in the video. Um, again, this is just really neat, top of the line. It's got all the adjustable bells and whistles on it. Uh, it's a Picatinny rail, uh, side sling setup. Uh, You've got your front and bottom sling set up. Any type of M-Lock design, you know, pieces and parts can go on here. Oh, it's really, uh, it's like Lego. It's whatever you can imagine in your mind, you can design and put on this frame. That's what's sweet about it. So, let's uh, take it apart and take this apart and put them together. Hopefully, uh, I'm not going to mess anything up. So we'll give it a shot. Um, just to start with, this has got two, four, six, eight screws on the top that the piece separates. So it would, like this, you got your two pieces. If I'm doing that right, 
and it goes like that. So the gun will go in this piece. You'll take the barrel band off. This will slide between the air tube and the barrel and clamp back down. And then you'll put your barrel band back on. So you'll see us do that. And then put your screws down. Um, this has uh, an anchor point here and a secondary anchor point through the grip. So if you want to be really tight on there, it'd be gripped down with two different anchor points. Okay. So we have to take this piece off here. Now, I've already got it off on the other one, but I wanted to show you, you know, how simple this is. So you guys that really like the old uh, M-Lock equipment, all the, the lasers, and mag lights, and flashlights, and hog lights, and all these, 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 yeah, they can I could have picked any rails, but everybody has different different words for them. Um, now, I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can show this in here. Um, well, I guess watch this from the back so it doesn't get too blurry. That blurry? Um, give me a pointy device here. I think that's blurry. Again, my, I got glasses. Um, this is your M lock design here. These fellas, they turn and lock in. So you don't even have to unscrew the whole thing. All these. So anywhere you've got these rails, you can put, uh, I think it's a trademark copyright protected uh, M lock knickknacks and items you know unfortunately I am not the brightest person when it comes to this type of stuff um, but I want to do my best to show off this fine quality stock and product because this is just really 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 cool beans Let me bring this back okay so now um, because like I said there's two points of contact on this stock with the air rifle or normally there's just one uh, to really lock it into position so now that that is off can we see this plate comes off out the way I'll put that here with the pieces and parts and then uh, inside here it's a big old fat allen screw um, I need to have the right I should have had these already all out I look like a doorknob here doing this first time. Like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. Alright, so that is the Pistola Grippola. Um, and I'll set that there. 
Oh, now, this comes with lots of extra bits, pieces, and parts. This is extra bits, pieces, and parts. Uh, I know this is going to be really stupid on the video. I'm trying to show it properly. All right. This is the end cap that will be replacing the end cap on the back of the air rifle. And this will go in, and this will slide up, and it will lock the gun in from the back, and then we'll lock it in from the front. Okay, I got the right T-wrench for that. Let me see how I can do this. I'll be cutting and editing bits and pieces here just because I'm not as well prepared as okay. I can be. So, normally, you take your barrel band off and this slides between the barrel and the band. Um, mine is torqued on so tight I couldn't get it off so what I did is I took out the, the screw here and the two screws in here and lifted this up. There was just enough clearance to get it and slide it that way. So it's not what I wanted to do in the video but it's on so we will continue. So back to what I was doing before Turn this over again, and I love this little gadget. And I'm telling you guys, if I can do this, you can do this, okay? Because this is really not that difficult. I did empty the air out of the gun first, though. Safety first. Safety first. Okay. Is one of those things that since I can't see what I'm doing at the same time in the video um, okay so the back of the air rifle has got this little three millimeter screw that that's your spring cap follower guy and what's gonna happen is this new piece is going to replace it as it's in the gun. So let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Let's see. Uh, it's going to go in there. Don't. This is going to Like that. There we go. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure on this. Let's see if we can hold this like this. this in this hole okay it took me I had to hold the gun upright like this and fiddle faddle and I finally got that bolt through the hole into the gun to lock in the back anchor point which again is not necessarily needed but you know, it makes everything super tight. And then now I'm locking in, I'm dropping everything. I'm locking and dropping 
the front anchor point, or you say right the regular stock screw. Okay. All right, let's do the rest of this piece here, which I totally forgot about. Um, let's see, that goes there. I used a big one. Hope you can see this. So if I can do this, you can do this. You know, and I personally hate working on this type of stuff. But if I can do it, you can do it. Um, it helps if you got a nice gun bench and you know all your bits and pieces. Okay, and this is a standard uh, AR-15 bottom, so you know any type of. Uh, uh, there we go. Any type of, uh, you know, palm swell or pistol grip or advanced, you know, gadgetry. Sweet looking ride. And as I said, uh, there's many, 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 many different things you can put on a gun. Um, like, I mean, this just happens to be the way Mike set it up and sent it to me. But, you know, you've got all these different adjustments back and forth, the cheek piece up and down. <sighs> okay. So, I'm going to take this gadget here, and these just turn, and uh, get in there, you. They fit like that. So, if you turn it, you tighten it up, they turn on the inside, and they're locked in. Hence the term, I do believe that's called mag lock. So I could take this one here. You know, I gotta do this better. Because my arms are in the way. Can I do it like this? As soon as it's loose, they turn. I can move it over here. Some professional video equipment would be wonderful. Okay. Look at this. Close quarter combat. Air gun style. They call me Mr. Rambo. Well, this is pretty sweet, guys. Okay, I've got it all together. Um, you've seen in the video, um, you know, I've screwed up a bunch of stuff, but I figured it out. So if I can do it, you can do it. Um, we'll have all this contact information at the end of the video. But, I mean, just check this out, right? Just check this out. You know. Pull that up. Pull this up. You know, ready to go. Um... Every bell and whistle you can put on this, I mean, and it's not even, everything's not even on here. I mean, it's just, the sky's the limit. It's like a Christmas tree. You know, there's every type of, you know, mag lock for side sling, a regular sling. You can put a Picatinny rail uh, for, you know, your bipod or the sling attached bipod. Um, just, you name it, you can put it on here. Um, and you know what's really nice is if I was going like with a 20 inch barrel set up, you know, that end about there, almost like a breech door gun. Um, so it's pretty sweet. And the fact that this is a uh, 20 millimeter, I mean, just, just you know, anything will stop this. Uh, you know, uh, I would have had this for the pig, to shoot a pig, but I didn't want to mess, 
messed the accuracy up. And like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. You know, normally take the barrel band off, the upper piece slides on, you know, the lower piece, you take out the little piece here, put the screw through, you got your other screw that holds it in. I mean, real simple stuff. I'm no gunsmith, and if I can do it, you can do it. So, it's not going to be for everybody, but for the guys that, that like this style chassis, this setup, you know, for hunting, target shooting, varmint, whatever you want, um, Mike has uh, uh, really came through on this. So, now it's set up, it'll stay like this, you know, until someone offers me a mint for it. Uh, but, uh, this is cool. This is cool. Um, but, uh, I don't know what else to say. You know, if uh, you're familiar with all these, you know, stuff that goes on, you know what to do. Knock yourself out and have fun. Um, thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, we'll go out and, uh, you know, get to do some field testing with this new stock. All right, thanks for watching Mr. Hollow Point. Make a fool out of himself and, uh, you know, break stuff.